Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the House of Dossier. Now I've talked about them on my channel before. They are a what some would call a clone house. I prefer to use the term inspired by or they mimic very popular fragrances in the niche community as well as the designer community. Today we're going to be talking about two different fragrances, however. One is a very popular niche fragrance from Lalebo. It is called Santal 33. The other is from Giorgio Armani. I don't know if you've heard of it before. It's called Aqua de Jo. So another very iconic fragrance in the design house genre. So when we return, we're going to break those two fragrances down a little bit, and I'm going to talk about a huge dossier giveaway that we're doing today as well. So stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back. So I've promised you two different fragrances we're going to talk about from the House of Dossier. One I think represents the best of the niche community, the other the best of the design house community. Now if you've never heard of Dossier before, let me tell you a little bit about them. They are an inspired by creation house. They like to infuse a little bit of art into their mimicry, take popular fragrances and recreate them in a very affordable way. A lot of times when you see a fragrance, you hear some hype about it, you go to take a look at it, perhaps you even go to purchase it, and then it's of a price that is not accessible at all. For example, let's talk a little bit about Woody Sandalwood. Woody Sandalwood is a creation from Dossier that is mimicking Lalebo's Santal 33. If you've never heard of Santal 33, this is a very popular niche fragrance. Santal 33 was created, it was kind of to represent the old ad of the Marlboro Man. If you remember the Marlboro Man, he's standing by his horse out in a, the desert, just the typical Western scenario. He's got his cowboy hat on, his chaps. He's lighting up a cigarette, obviously, because it's representing Marlboro. At that time, every man wanted to be like him and every woman wanted a part of him. So what they've tried to infuse into that fragrance is that kind of gritty sense or style. There's a little bit of leather. There's also a floral sensibility to Santal 33 with a, the violet. There's like violet and iris in there as well. Like if you were an actual cowboy and the sun was going down and you were sitting by the fire, it's like that light smoky essence rising from the fire, just like sensuality. It's like a barely there, but very powerful and strong. So that's kind of what Santal 33 was built after. Now, did they do a good job of representing it in Woody Sandalwood Dossier? Santal 33 is gonna be over 100 bucks if you go to their website and try to purchase it. I'm not saying it's not worth that, but what if you don't have that kind of money? Woody Sandalwood is only one thing I really like about Dossier is they print the notes right on the label. Top notes, violet leaves and cardamom middle notes or heart notes, orris or iris, ambroxan, cedarwood, and cypriol, resting on a base of musk, sandalwood, and amber. Each fragrance comes in a box just like this. Not only do you get a 50 ml bottle, but you also get a 5 ml sample vial. Now this is designed, when you get the box, you grab this right away. There's enough sprays on here for several days wear, and once you wear it, you decide whether you want to keep it or not. If for whatever reason you don't think it mimics the fragrance that you're looking for well enough, you can throw this back in the box, ship it off, and you get a 100% money back guarantee. There's not a lot of design houses that actually do that, that actually have that money back guarantee like that, and have set it up to where you can sample it first. At least sample it first while having the amount of juice that you want should you decide to keep it. That's kind of Dossier's claim to fame. It's really unique and it works very well. Not only do you get a sample vial, you also get a key card. That card tells you what is in the fragrance. It tells you more about the fragrance. The 50 ml bottle does have a magnetic lid, which makes the form factor really interesting. Show you a couple sprays there. It is a very wide array spray. It throws on a really good amount of juice. It's just a fantastic presentation. This one is rich. Now a lot of people say when they smell Centol 33 they smell pickles and leather. I kind of get that because people have different noses, they have different experiences, and that's often how they associate a fragrance. It doesn't smell that way at all. It smells very much like Santal 33. It is amazing how closely this resembles it. But what I love about Dossier is they go a step further. They make their fragrance just a little bit different than the actual original in a very refreshing and creative way. While this does smell exactly like Santal 33, it kind of has its own personality and you have to wear it long enough to be able to tell that. Great performance, 
excellent mimicry. What about their design fragrances? Their design fragrances are equally creative. This one is and it is called Aquatic Lime. In the top it's got bergamot, lime, and watermelon with heart notes of marine notes, jasmine, and rosemary resting on a base of cedarwood, oak moss, and vetiver. Aqua de Joe has been part of my fragrance journey just like many of you, so I wore this for a few days and I absolutely love it. It's, it's amazing how closely it resembles the actual Aqua de Joe at a fraction of the cost. Right now, if you go to the Giorgio Armani website, you're gonna get a 3.4 ounce, which is a 100 ml bottle of Aqua de Joe for about 88 bucks. That's not bad, actually, for Aqua de Joe. However, $29. So if you're trying to get very popular fragrances, but you don't have that budget, which is the majority of us these days, Dossier truly is the way to go. You're gonna get similar performance, not quite potentially the performance, but you're gonna get really close, at least close enough for what you're paying for. But the smell is amazing. I especially like how fruity this is. That watermelon, that lime, and the aquatics in this make it so similar and yet a little bit fresher in certain aspects than Aqua de Joe. Try it for yourself, you'll really enjoy it and you literally have nothing to lose because 100% money back guarantee. No other design house does that in quite the way that Dossier does. Well, I promised you a giveaway. I do have six bottles. That's right, six bottles of Dossier representing niche, representing designer, and they're all super popular. They're all from the popular catalog of Dossier online. Now, if you do wanna jump straight to their website and order something, I do have a dedicated link in the description below. You can also type in Studio Sense 10 to get a 10% coupon off your order. Valentine's Day is coming up next month very shortly. They do have up to 30% off discounts on their fragrances, so don't forget to check out their website. But again, the giveaway, six bottles, six 50 ml bottles, along with their sample vials, along with the cards and the boxes, all can be yours. I'm gonna run through the rules of engagement really quickly, because it's super simple. All you gotta do is, of course, watch this video. You've got to like this video. You've gotta leave a comment below of what you think would be a great add-on to the current catalog of Dossier that they currently don't have a clone of. So what fragrance could Dossier create that they don't currently have that you would like to see as part of their catalog? That's pretty much it. So watch the video, like the video, but leave an answer in the comments as to what they could add to their current catalog that they currently don't have. It can be anything from obscure niche to very popular designer that they currently don't have. It's kind of a cool way to get to know their catalog and get your feedback out there and win six bottles of Dossier offerings. Well, that's it guys. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my video about Dossier and about this fantastic giveaway opportunity. Again, thank you so much for your support on my channel. It does mean the world to me. I'm Tommy with StudioSense and I'll see you tomorrow.